Hello everyone, it's Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to bring to you upcoming scent of the month for February 2019. Now as consultants, we are able to purchase either a scent of the month kit or a scent and warmer of the month kit, or you can choose to not purchase either. But I like to get the scent of the month kit because I am a wax addict. But I'd like to share with you the details of the warmer. The warmer for February is called Love Abounds. I'll just show you the flyer. I'll peek around. It is a 20 watt bulb warmer. It is ceramic, it glows. Those little gold hearts that are accented, they're all hand painted. So obviously targeting a Valentine's Day theme, but it would be great for someone with like kind of like a neutral background with like gold or warm tones in their house or a little girl's room or I think even a like a nursery. I think that would be cute. But let's talk a little bit about the price. So as you may know, when the warmer and scent are released, they are 10% off that month. So in Canada, where I live, the warmer will be $36 for the month of February, and it goes to $40 after the month if it's still available. And in the US, it is on sale in February for $27, regular price $30. So that's a great price for a full, full size warmer. Now it is 20 watt, but being ceramic, it should get hot enough to have no problems throwing the scent. And it's kind of a petite warmer, so the distance between the bulb and the dish shouldn't be too much. So yeah, that's great. Make sure if it's a warmer that you want, I would get on top of things February 1st, because obviously if you're wanting it for Valentine's Day, you wanna have enough time for shipping. So either get on websites early, order early, or contact your local consultant, and sometimes they have a pre-order list. You can get it that way. But let's talk about the scent. My favorite part. So February scent of the month is called Poppy Fields. And it is like a reddish, kind of like a soft red. I will read you the scent description. Sensi says about Poppy Fields, take an enchanting trip through fields of romantic red poppy, fig, and rose petals. So when I'm reading this, I thought to myself, it obviously it's going to have floral tones because it has poppy and it has rose and sometimes I think floral scents kind of get a bad rap because some people can't tolerate them some people don't like them okay so now you're gonna factor in the fig so let me tell you what I think okay on cold I would say it's about a medium scent and I definitely get poppies the most and the fig to me doesn't really smell like fig in my opinion I get like a red juicy wild berry kind of reminds me of like when you're out in the wilderness and you see those shrubs with little red berries not that you're ever supposed to taste those but i figure they would smell like this <laughs> i only get about 20 percent rose so i think some people are getting a lot more rose personally i get maybe like 20 percent rose maybe like 40 percent poppy and 30 percent like this what my brain is interpreting as like a juicy red sweet berry so for me, it's like a floral scent with a tart, juicy aspect to it, a bit tangy. And when I, when I heard about this, obviously you don't know about it, but I remember thinking, I don't even know if I'm going to know what poppies smell like. And as soon as I smelled this, it brought an instant memory for me. When I was in university in my early 20s, I had to house sit for someone for about two months when she went to BC. She made me do a million things around the house, like mow lawns, it was crazy. Anyway, when she returned, the first thing she said was, oh, you let the poppies all go to seed. She had a beautiful garden and there was a million poppies. I mean, she had so many flowers, it was unreal. But I always remember the poppies. And I remember thinking, I was, I don't know anything about gardening. You didn't tell me about like doing anything. But anyway, as soon as I smelled this, it brought me back to that memory. And I think it's kind of a sign I'm going old because I, I kind of forgot about that. So anyway, yes, I do know what poppies smell like. It's hard to describe. Uh, maybe pick it up, see for yourself, pick up a bar at seven, uh, in Canada it would be 7.20 the month of February, and the US would be 5.40. The other way to get it early is pick up a whiff box, and there will be a sample of poppy fields in the whiff box, and you can smell it that way. Okay, one other thing I always like to highlight this is the last month that you can get rainbows and butterflies. Don't forget if you're a rainbows and butterflies fan to add it in either to Scentsy Club or stock up. I've actually been reading people like that in the washroom. I'm not really sure what that means, <laughs> but they say it gets rid of certain smells. So, And we are in strawberry champagne truffle mode. 
this month. That is a bit of a lighter scent. Now I will tell you, for this month I have put some cubes in my warmers. I put one cube in each of a glass mini warmer in smaller rooms and I put two cubes in my daughter's room which is a uh, ceramic warmer. I will caution you, if you do not like florals, start with putting it in a glass warmer because glass warmers don't tend to throw the scent quite as strong. If you find that you want a little bit more oomph, next time put it in a ceramic warmer. I find most ceramic warmers give it a little bit more of a jolt to the scent. So you can kind of customize how well something throws for you or not, depending on if you like it or not. If you find certain florals too strong, put it in a glass warmer, try that out. Anyway, thanks for spending the last six minutes with me. As always, I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I will see you in the next video.